All right, folks, let's talk about pressure testing. So there's a number of different pressures that we can take in a natural gas system or a propane system. This particular one is natural gas. What I have here is a test port going into my gas line before it makes it to my appliance, which is a hot water tank. The gas is on and I do have gas on to my test port and we will notice that I'm measuring a pressure of 7.76 inches of water column. There, close. Now, nothing is running. All the pilots are shut off, the main burner is off, so we call this line pressure. All right, now we have our next pressure. What we have here is our manometer still connected to this test port before we get to the appliance, but I'm not gonna film this, but the pilot light is in fact running. So we have a little flame burning inside there. What we have now is called standing pressure. This hot water tank is in standby mode. It is not calling for heat yet. So we're at 7.63 or 6.4. It's bouncing around a little, that's okay. But that is our inches of water column for our standing pressure. As you can see, we get a bit of fluctuation. That's just the machine. What we're gonna do now is fire this thing up and we're gonna get our next pressure. Same connection, we're connected into the gas line before the hot water tank appliance. We're turned to the on position and let's turn it up to hot. So just let it figure itself out a little bit. So it's gonna bounce around a bit. The regulator inside here is working. So we'll call that in and around 7.1 inches of water column. That is our operating pressure, meaning the hot water tank is actually burning or operating. Now there's one other pressure that we can take from that. That one is called differential pressure. Let's look at that on paper using our other pressures. To find our differential pressure, we need to take our standing pressure and subtract it from our operating pressure. So our standing pressure was 7.6 inches of water column. Our operating pressure was 7.1 inches of water column. And that leaves us with 0.5 inches of water column. If that number is too large, then we have a gas line sizing problem. But this, however, is perfect. All right, our final pressure is manifold pressure. We're connected to a tapping downstream of the piping and this gas pressure is actually the same gas pressure that will be flowing to the main burner. So right now we're at zero because nothing is running except the pilot light, which this will not measure. And I'm connected up through this tube. So what I'm gonna do is turn this up again and see what we come to here. If we look at the, the rating plate here, we're supposed to be running at 3.5 inches of water column. Let's see how this works. All right, we're looking pretty good here. I'm registering pretty close to 3.5 inches of water column. Now, these gas valves are adjustable. Some of the hot water tanks are not, but most gas valves are adjustable. Let's show you how to do that. Right here, there's a little adjustment screw. It is a flat bladed screw. If I turn the screw in, I will increase the pressure. If I back that screw out counterclockwise, I will decrease the pressure. Let's play with it a little bit. I'm not gonna go too far. So I'm gonna turn it in. Oh, we went up to 4.07. That was just by turning it a tiny bit. Now let's turn it back out a little bit. So you can really mess around with this. Now, here's the thing, when you first get a furnace or if you're servicing a furnace or hot water tank down the road, these pressures can change over time for whatever reason. It's always good to check. So I'm just gonna bump that back to one or 3.5 and we're gonna be happy. It always takes a little time for it to sort itself out. 
very touchy. I'm happy.